Now we're in our oats plots now. We've got two different types of oats that we're going to look at together right here because uh, there's a purpose for each uh, and, and there would be a reason to plant each. So over here on this side we have our Hayden oats. Uh, these are both South Dakota varieties, uh, relatively new, uh, very good varieties of oats. So the Hayden oats, it's a true spring, what I would call a dual purpose oat. Uh, you could grow this for the seed, and it's a very good yielder. Some of our growers up in the Dakotas, you know, regularly get 100 to 120 bushel uh, seed yields off this. But it's also leafy enough and tall enough and it has enough forage potential, it can make very good hay. And it's a less expensive oat than this one. This is the Goliath oats. This is more of a true forage oat. And you can tell that it's already taller than these. And it will continue to grow because it's really not even headed out yet. It's still just kind of in the middle. And so it's going to continue to grow. It's a longer season oat, so we're going to get more overall growth and forage biomass. It's not as good of a seed producer as what the Haydens are. So therefore, it's going to cost more because uh, you know we have to pay growers more to grow it because it doesn't yield as much. But I, just looking at these, these are beautiful looking oats. These would make some tremendous, uh, tremendous hay or forage, or you could chop it. And especially if we threw in some peas in here, Dale, what would this look like if we had some peas in with it? Better. <laughs> uh, seriously, if you look at the structure of an oat plant, they grow very upright. Um, they, they don't really tiller and bush out. Um, so when you look at an oat canopy, if you take, if we were to be looking straight down as I am right now, there's a lot of sunlight hitting the ground. And, and so having a pea in there, uh, which will vine around, it will capture that unused sunlight and convert it into more biomass and more protein. And, uh, and, and Keith talked about the difference in the, uh, a week ago, these plants were neck and neck. It's not that this grows any faster than the Hayden's, it grows longer than the Hayden's. Um, that's a positive if you're wanting to let it, if you're willing to let it go longer. You can get more total yield out of it. Um, if day for day, up until this, the Hayden's bloom out, they're almost identical. The advantage to this is that you can grow a couple more weeks and accumulate more biomass. The drawback, like you said, is that when it heads out two weeks later, you're running into summer heat and, yeah. and you don't get the seed yields because you just lose out. Yeah. So depending on what, how long you're willing to let it go, that would dictate which of these two varieties you prefer to have for and, and with those 4010 peas being a little longer season type pea also, it's going to grow and, and match the maturity of these oats very well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a very, very good combination. High quality, good protein content. Uh, the peas really add a lot to the oats. That's, that's why they're a popular combination. Yeah. They work.